Can you believe it? Good morning and happy Friday. I know that's right. I am on my way to a nail appointment. I gotta get these toes done. I waited even longer than I said I needed to. It's literally, it has been like, mm, I don't even wanna say, it's been like, it's been like a little over two months, which is real bad because I ain't touched shit on my feet other than I had to literally cut them, girl. I had to because they were it was giving like velociraptor like <laughs> i had to cut them but i have literally not had a bad year since my birthday i have just been neglecting my feet mainly because y'all know they had to heal so i was like fuck it i just cut them and just cleaned them up and let them heal and i gotta i still have a big ass bruise on my big toe um from hiking so it's it doesn't hurt anymore it's just still bruised but um, I'm going to get them cleaned up because tomorrow. Ah! Okay, but first, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am King Kinsey. <laughs> I call my subscribers Kingpin. So if you want to become a Kingpin, it is very simple. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button and join the community. Also, please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you find yourself enjoying your stay and share. Sharing is caring. Send this link to everybody you know. Be like, oh my gosh, she's the shit. I'll be like, oh my gosh, she's so cool. You should watch her because, girl, I'm trying to get these numbers up. I finally hit 100 subscribers. Um, I want to say it was like a month or so ago. It was around my birthday, I think. Yeah. Um, I hit 100 subscribers. That was a huge accomplishment for me. So I am incredibly grateful and thankful in every single way. Like, just, it took so long just to get to that point because, you know, I'm real inconsistent. But I've been doing much, much better. And now I'm at 108. And I'm just like, girl, what have you been doing? Get it together. So, but yeah, um, I'm en route to the nail shop in Roseville. Same one that I've taken you guys a million times. I don't know if I'm going to record anything. I may or may not. I don't know. But, um, yeah, we have some things to do today. We do have some things to do. So, um, after this, I'm going to go, girl, first of all, let, I always feel like there's a first of all, I have to tell you something, but, um, okay. So tomorrow, let's talk about tomorrow. Oh, we'll do that when I get out. I'm literally, I, my appointment is like in three minutes and I'm like, I can see the parking lot from where I am. So I know I'm going to have to get out or I know I'm going to have to get out the car soon. So let's just say we got some shit to do. Like I do have to run by Ulta after this, we're actually going to go to Pete's. So I wanted to drop, um, the weekly vlog today. What is today? Girl, here we go. What is today? The 20th. Of course. Um, yeah. So I wanted to drop the vlog today at noon, but of course got hit on copyright. Like I ran my music. I always, y'all, the trials and tribulations is what they don't tell you with being a content creator. I ran my music. I always run my music through um, YouTube to make sure everything is kosher before I up like, upload my video. Because who wants to keep going back and forth and change the shit? Like that's hella time consuming. And then re-export and re-upload like, girl. It, but it happens all the time. I run it. It says check is clear. And sometimes I'll run it way in advance. Sometimes it's music I've been had copyright on for, you know, years yeah i've been doing this since 2021 and then all of a sudden it's copywritten and then they say it's um kosher if it you know 
And then if it's a new song, I'll run it through. It says it's all good. I'll leave it there, you know, for some hours. Says it's all good. Make my video, upload it. Bam, copyright. So, oh, like I was so mad because I was like, you know what? I'm going to drop this today at noon. No. So it's going to come out tomorrow because I finally got it to pass copyright this morning. So um, I just need to do the um, thumbnail and ugh, which in and of itself is annoying. If you don't know already, thumbnails are very, very important. It is what entices people to click on your video. So you have to actually give it some thought and um it's time consuming so and you stress over every little detail like oh the thumbnail anyway so why is there traffic like this is where we're back um anyway so i'm gonna go to pete's after this because i want my coffee i haven't had tea i haven't had coffee i haven't had none of that and i was up till three in the morning i have been up since 3 a.m and um okay like straight up acting like they weren't gonna stop that's a whole stop sign um anyway been up all night trying to get shit done i am gonna drop the weekly vlog tomorrow um it's just from earlier this month and um i don't know if i'm gonna do it like sometime between 6 a.m and noon i don't know exactly i don't know but um i'm gonna go to pete's after this after i get these these feet these feet done um we're gonna head to pete's and just do some editing, get the thumbnail done, description box, add the chapters, all of that. It's a whole thing. So, um, and get my coffee. She very much needs her coffee. So let me get in there because my appointment is now. Every second, every minute, man, I speak. Every second, every minute, man, I speak. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can keep it, man, I swear. It's clear. Yeah, all these toes. One finger. I think it said one finger. I think it said one finger. This is how you make me feel Lips lost, teeth white Apple bottoms, let me bite Spin the night, catch a flight We can do a bunch of light Feeling right, you smelling good Let's get this understood You a bad bitch, put your hands up high Hands up high Hands up high Every second, every minute Man, I swear that she can kick it Man, I swear that she can get it Man, I swear that she can get it Every second, every minute Man, I swear that she can Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high Hands up high, hands up high
Carolina blue kicks. Hottest nigga on the block. Used to willy bicycle since I was six. High school, the crossover, wait the way picks. Music is the same shit, gave away hits. So my get it together or forget it forever. When I go at you hard, I can get it through leather. You act like Jigga can. Get it, whoever talking, you got a man. Okay, my and that's high school, making me chase you around for months. Having a fear, act like an adult for once. Plus, my hand is up your skirt. God damn, you flirt. What's a little me on top gonna hurt? Maybe a little, but pain is pleasure and pressure bust pipes. And you look like the I like it rough type. We can crush the night. Tell me what you like. I got a yellow bottle on a bucket of ice. Get right. Young Hope. Let me tell you how good that felt. This this chick, she's an older woman. We'll call her chick. That woman, her name's Amy. She's been doing my pedicure off and on for years. Like she's been there for a while, but um, I told you guys before I stopped getting I stopped getting my nails done and my regular pedicures. I stopped getting all that done during COVID and I just never went back to it. And I was really heavy with working out and I just, the nails got in the way. I just literally like cold turkey stopped. So I don't get, um, manis and petties and gel. I don't get all that anymore. So when I do, I just do it myself, but I don't use gel. Um, but when I do, girl, <laughs> Ooh, I remember because that sh and when you get when you get um, a technician that is really 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 good, like ooh we ooh we. So thank you. My feet look a hot ass mess. I ain't never seen my feet look this bad. Like, but they're all soft and supple and clean. And I got my little like regular clear like it's a um it's a nail hardener. It's like a nail. Uh, nourish type polish. It's not like regular polish. Oh, I think I have it. I think I brought it from home. I do. <laughs> Let me show you. Um, it's real popular. Like it's it's been around for some time. Um, but I just get it on Amazon. And... Yeah, this one here. Can you see it? Focus. Yeah, right there. Um, it's called the Perfect Formula Ruby Pink Gel Coat. Uh, it's not gel gel. It's not the hard stuff. So this stuff right here, y'all, it just has a whole bunch of good shit for your toenails. And I love the way it sits, the way it looks. It's subtle, like pink, and it just looks really, really natural. And um, I was thinking about staying and doing the manicure, but I was like, I'm gonna just do that myself because literally it's just like I just I can get it done in like 15 minutes and then what's funny is I have gel polish and I have like the dryer like the UV light dryer I have all of that anyway so we're on our way to Pete's um I want to be out the house first of all because I have cabin fever like a motherfucker and so I brought my laptop and I'm just going to sit at Pete's. I haven't had coffee. It is way later. It's not morning anymore. <laughs> it's not late afternoon. It's early afternoon. Like just past, just past noon. But, um, 
I don't care. I want my coffee. Like, I, like period. Oh, I put this up here when I was in the massage chair. My clip was in the way, so I couldn't, like, relax. So I put it all the way up here, and I didn't put it back down. I know they're looking at me like, girl. Anyway, yeah, so we're just going to go to Pete's. I'm going to work on this damn thumbnail and just get the video geared up for tomorrow. So, yeah, I'll look out for that. And I'm hungry. I didn't anticipate being hungry this soon. It's probably because I haven't had coffee. So I'm going to just get my coffee. And they have little gut shots there. The little two working gender gut shots. So I'm going to just talk about that real quick. And hopefully that will do me until we leave. But if I get hungry, I'll just get like a croissant. What else? Oh, that's what I have to tell you guys. Tomorrow is your girl's anniversary. It's very nice wedding anniversary tomorrow. 20 years. 20 years yeah you heard that right 20 years we've been together for 20 years we've been married for 11. um and honestly um gave oh oh i know you lying back up in the middle of the um uh we've been together 20 for 20 years we got together in 2004 so exactly 20 years um and we've been together ever since like i need to do um a story time like on my kinsey perspective and tell you guys how how we met all those years ago because it's a story <laughs> it is quite the story not quite but it's it's out there but um okay okay great so okay. it is such a pretty day y'all like it is so like perfectly warm like you know that transition between summer and fall it is beautiful like it's like a mildly warm spring day almost like it's just wonderful outside i wish i was doing some type of outdoor activity but no today is pretty much a work and maintenance day mainly maintenance because Faye's taking a girl outside tomorrow <laughs> i'm so excited like so excited we made um a whole bunch of plans for the weekend so we're just gonna do a little staycation in our city enjoy our city we got um, a really nice hotel downtown and um, we're gonna go out to our favorite gay spot we haven't been to the gay clubs in a while but our favorite place to go was faces back in the day and we've had times there like we've had good times we've had bad times <laughs> we've had great times like Faces used to be our spot back in the day. Um, and yeah, we're gonna hit that up. We're dining, just luxury, just having just having a good time. Nothing too serious, but just, you know, having a good time. And then um, we might even get tattoos. Why is there so much traffic? Like why? Ooh, these eyebrows. I'm gonna do my manicure and my eyebrows when I get home. And, um, you know. I gotta shave my cha-cha. Not shave. <laughs> Who shaves? Not shave. I gotta I gotta clip it down. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get it right. I gotta get it right. <laughs> so um yeah. Just mainly DIY maintenance and work because I have to get this video up like oh my god. No
Y'all can kiss my ass. It's 7 p.m. Friday. It's 95 degrees. I ain't got no nigga. And no nigga ain't got me. Let's go. I'm about to show my. Shut it down. Hey guys. All right. Um, girl. Do, do you see all, all all of the samples like let me tell you the last time i've been to ulta i used to go all the time but it was more for like hair products i have not been to ulta in a minute and i needed some things because i i have a lot of makeup that i don't use like we've talked about this before i buy makeup and um don't use it <laughs> I just have it on standby just in case a bitch needs it like and then it expires and it's like why did why did you spend that money so i haven't bought makeup in a, quite some time because of that but uh, focus oh i look tired bitch. i look tired anyway we have secured the bag secured the bag the ulta bag let me show you what i got but first let me lock the door <laughs> um so i have been hearing all about this Ooh, this this right here can you see it yeah this benetint i've been hearing all about this on the vlogs apparently it works very 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 well it stains it's a lip tint um oil i think i don't know it's a lip and cheek stain so i've seen several girls try this and they swear by it so um i got the travel size so i will be trying this out for sure probably tomorrow and this is elf water resistant no budge retractable eyeliner um i just needed a brown liner i used to wear black all the time when i used to actually do my makeup and i find now that the brown really accentuates the brown eyes i very much have light brown eyes so brown dark brown liner and a burgundy i actually have a burgundy mascara um or is it purple burgundy purple i don't know it's l'oreal when i tell you it makes brown eyes pop something fierce i'm not lying so i thought let me get the brown liner to match I needed a brow and eyelash um, gel like setter. It pretty much just sets them in place and just keeps them from going all willy nilly. Um, and I need it clear because I want to use it on my lashes as well. Um, I definitely needed a concealer. This is what took me so long trying to find the actual concealer. I got the travel size because this thing is like tax and all it's like $40 and then like this is travel so no I, I was gonna say the full size is only this much bigger I'm lying it's it's pretty big but I don't want to get that until I know for sure it's like a hundred so I needed a concealer so there's that and I got the super coverage multi-use sculpting con concealer by born this way uh, Too Faced and in the co I'm like where's the color porcelain this is porcelain and then oh my god it is seven. Oh my god um i feel like i have been out i have been out all day that's crazy um and then my niece had this and i tried it when i was with her some months back the elf and i love elf not only is it vegan it's it's reasonably priced like not even reasonable compared to all this other shit. it's cheap and it actually like does the job like i have never been disappointed with elf and it's just it makes sense the prices make sense like all these other prices i'm just like since when like but i'm I, when it comes to makeup i'm not that girl and when i did um used to wear makeup drugstore so ultas weren't even around sephora's weren't even around like back in the day like it drugstore Maybelline, Revlon, L'Oreal, like regular shit. Um, so 
Elf is just Elf is just the shit. And then I scurry my little ass on over to Fenty Beauty Re Re Re. I need you to tell me why. I need you to tell me why your liner. Why? Can you focus? Can Can you tell me why this lip liner, this pencil lip liner that you still have to sharpen with a with a sharpener? <laughs> Why is this $20, Ree? Why? Make it make sense to me. Make it make sense. $20 for a little funky ass lip liner? Bitch. Anyway. <laughs> um, traced out pencil lip liner. Apparently, it was the first one the girl recommended. She said it doesn't smudge. Like, it, it keeps really well. And I just needed a really good brown. So I got the number six. It's called Extra Thigh. Girl. We'll see how all this fares, but I am excited that I actually found everything I, I needed because I'm throwing all that shit away. Like, I just want my staples, just a few little things because I don't wear makeup. So when I do, I just want it to be bing, bang, boom. Like, just get it on. Boom. Don't need all that extra fluff. Nobody's doing no setting spray, powder, layers. Found definitely not doing foundation. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I just need, you know, just a little bit of an enhancement, not coverage. So we will see how all of this fares. But I'm so excited that I got everything I needed. I need to. Oh, they have the fair up over there at the mall. Isn't that cute? I cannot believe it is seven. Fuck me. Anyway, when I tell you I inhaled, inhaled this burrito, <laughs> it's a wrap. It's a chicken shawarma wrap from uh, Extreme Hummus. I inhaled. I was so fucking hungry, y'all. I was starving. Like, inhaled it before I even went in, <laughs> sitting in the parking lot like I do. So we're out tea and we are um, about to just stop really quick at Walmart where I live apparently. <laughs> um, we just need to, well, we just need to, I hate when it's, this is the only thing I hate about the fall, it getting dark so early, guys. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But I think everyone does. Um, it just seems so much later than what it is. Um, okay, yeah. So we got to run to Walmart and just get a few things, some more cat food, um, some of my mineral water, and that's about it. Like... I can't think of anything else. Oh, I might want to get my um my feet because I will be wearing heels tomorrow. I need to get something for my feet to protect my feet because I'm not gonna be blistered up crying all over again and all like I just my feet are already fucked up. I can't afford to have them more fucked up. So I'm gonna go to Walmart and get my little like cushions just so I'm protected and I don't have to like be in pain all night and, and, I, and I can actually enjoy the night. So that's what we're about to do. And then I'm home. I'm home. I'm not going nowhere else. I'm home. And then, yeah, tomorrow is our anniversary. It's our anniversary, girl. Maybe you and me. Ugh. I just want to have a good time. I'm so excited for tomorrow. Anyway, let's circle back. On the last vlog, we were talking about focus, focus, bitch. It's like in and out of focus because now there ain't no damn light. Anyway, let's circle back. Ooh, shit. I'm about to hit this motherfucker. Um, let's circle back to the TV shows, y'all. I have watched so many tv shows like i have knocked them down i mean let me think i completely binged finished it in like a day and a half um uh selling sunset came back out with another season binged it done watched it all in 24 hours and that was days ago like um what else fight night y'all that shit 
hilarious. Like it is so entertaining, black entertainment. Um, hilarious. Like there's a whole bunch, it's, you know, crime and, you know, culture, you know, Atlanta, it's giving, it's giving, it's giving, it's giving, it's giving Terrence. And <laughs> why does that nigga always look like he is about two seconds from cracking the fuck up? That's his permanent state. He's just fucking looking like he's always cracking up or about to crack up at any moment. Like, and then Sam and Taraji and, um, Chloe and like, they're just, everyone is in it. Kevin, of course he's the main fight night everything the only thing i do not like about this show y'all and it's on peacock the only thing i don't like about this show is the actor they got to play muhammad ali is a joke it, it, it is a joke it's a joke not only do you not fit the size you don't fit like ali was ali was a big guy like it's not just the fact that he's puny like the character he looks more he's 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 giving more of a joke you know what you know what this road y'all joke joke watch fight night on um peacock and let me know let me know what you think because this guy he didn't he didn't do all he all he does is like ramble and shit talk he doesn't even and i know like ali was like that but he wasn't that corny. It wasn't that corny. It, it, it just, ugh. Every time he opens his mouth, it just gross. But there's a new episode. I haven't seen it because I binged what was there. I haven't seen that. Um, I've seen all the crime, the true crime, all of it, all of it. Like I have watched so many shows lately. Um, the worst ex ever. I think everybody's seen that by now. Binged all of that. Um, the Lacey story that i like literally i can't even there's so many netflix like drops true crime series like three times a week and i can't get enough i i can't get enough so i have literally watched all of it hbo's got a couple um cabin in the woods hella good real nightmares on elm street hella good or not hbo max or they call it max hella good i'm really into all the folklore like you know the fantasy the um all of it, Outlander, Witcher, Game of Thrones, House of Dragon, all of that, being caught up on that. Um, right now, it's um, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the motherfucking elves, the, the fucking, oh, this is going to drive me crazy, pa uh, the Rings of Power, the Rings of Power, it's running right now, so I'm all caught up. And um, I caught up on all the reunions of the housewives because I didn't, I never watched the reunions. Like I have watched, I have been watching so much TV, it's insane. And then back to, I never, um, I never circled back and told you how Deb's house turned out. She ruined it. She ruined the whole motherfucking thing. Like she was basically grooming um, to, which I think Deb, I think Deb is a, tr I like, I think, she, I don't know. I don't know if people already know this or, if it's even a thing, but Deb gives me like real like lesbian vibes. Like, I don't know if she's like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know like what she identifies as or, you know, her gender, her sexual orientation. I don't know what she identifies as, but she very much gives me like lesbian vibes, um, however she presents. And, um, but anyway, she ended up getting caught grooming two of the, two of the girls and they found out, then tried to backpedal. She went with what everybody else, like she she ha she made them leave the house. And um, because all the girls found out because one of the girls opened her mouth. And um, then, the, then the other girls, or the two girls, there's two of them. And I think Deb literally put them on the show to choose them in the end because she's been like grooming them this whole time. And there just seems to be more, I don't know if there's a sexual relationship. I don't know. I'm just getting this vibe that something inappropriate is going on. Like some ditty shit, some grooming, manipulating. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, that aside, they found out that she's been, li those two girls were living with Deb on, Deb on and off. And Deb totally backtracked. They ended up having, nobody, 
nobody won or was it my girl rocky i don't fucking remember this was weeks ago but or i don't know rocky ended up i don't know i don't know it just it, it backfired in her face and ruined the show i don't even know if anybody won it just was some mess um and then girl when i tell you just so much so 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 much why is there glass all over the place we are here at walmart for the umpteenth time in my life like i swear guys i live here and i eat it so oh bitch okay they just go then all right um this is gonna be real quick and then out there were some other shows like oh the horror movies the thriller i i don't know a person alive that hasn't seen deliverance that shit and when people say it's it was so scary no it's not it's not scary it's not scary boo there's nothing scary i mean it might be thrilling in some parts but it's not i mean it's a matter of perspective but still girl if you think that's scary if anything it's funny it's more funny than anything for sure and um and glenn the glenn close playing that mixed girl um andrea or whatever beautiful singer i don't know if it's dre or dre andrea i don't know um she's the girl that sings i'll rise up beautiful voice beautiful girl she can actually act um this isn't her first role she can actually act decently girl i ain't getting no light give me some light and um glenn miss glenn close came through she ended up being well spoiler alert she ended up playing one of the um manifested demons that was in the child or whatever whatever like totally shape-shifted and it was glenn with them teeth girl when she said i can smell your nappy pussy i about levitated out of my body i was snot nose dying when i heard that i was just like no they didn't no they didn't they did not take it there they did not have to make her do that but everyone's loving her for it everyone's supporting it it, it was it was a good movie but it was like <laughs> it was so funny so funny um i just been watching all the shit i've been watching all the shit and i know there's so much more i just can't think of it but um oh i know her she lives like right next to me um I hurry up and get in here because I need to hurry up and get the fuck out. Anyway, I don't even have time to talk to y'all, even though I really want to kiki about these shows. Like, so many shows. I have seen so many shows in the last two weeks. Like, Bay and I have just been watching so much shit. These shows, this like, there's been so much new content on Netflix. Like, they have been keeping me very entertained. Thank you. Anyway, so yeah god today has been busy i have literally been out all day but i got everything i want done and i'm so excited for tomorrow you know it's all in the preparation so that's why bitch is ripping and running and just doing all types of shit and i'm trying to get this video out tomorrow and just stay consistent so far this month i have dropped nothing but shorts girl just nothing but shorts and i'm trying to get two long form videos out um the vlog being one of them tomorrow and then something something it's not going to be a vlog but something before the end of the month and then um and then october is here like september just flew by like fuck i don't even remember the first anyway let me get in here and then i will holler at you guys tomorrow probably when we're on our way to the hotel or I don't know. I might pick up the camera beforehand. I don't know. I got I got to pack for the weekend. I got to do all the things to prepare to have a fabulous time this weekend. So I'll holla at you when I holla at you. Take care. Be safe. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Bye, bitch. Bye. <laughs> hey, King Fans. I'm going to force myself to be in a good mood just for y'all, King Fans. So, say it, babe. Hi, babe. <laughs> Y'all already know.
we're headed downtown, downtown Sac, to spend the weekend. And of course, per use, your girl wanted to get out way earlier than when she did, but that didn't happen. And girl, like, I'm so done with the technical difficulties of editing. Like, if anything takes me to the brink of um, quitting this, or just saying, you know what, I, I don't think this is for me anymore. It's the editing. It's the process of editing because I've been done with the vlog. Been done. Been done. And now, well, I finished it yesterday officially. Just the little, wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just, they have their blinker on? Not you. I'm talking about them. No, but did they have the, I They put see. it on like split second before okay, they that's smashed. What I thought. Oh, people are crazy. Um, anyway, my graphics didn't want to, didn't want to, um, translate during the export. So I, I had to go through an export like three different times and update the graphics like three different times to actually get it to work. And I don't know if CapCut was just like, bitch, I ain't fucking with you today. Like, I don't know what happened, but I finally fixed it. But literally that's what I was working on this morning when I was supposed to be packing getting ready to go la la yada yada and that took up so much of my time trying to get it fixed because i very much wanted to release the vlog today and would have had it not been for that but now it's gonna be tomorrow we just we're just gonna release it tomorrow sunday's fine and plus i noticed when i drop videos on sunday they do better than saturday which is weird because peak time for youtube is saturday so i don't i don't get that according to my research but that's all fine, but that took up most of my morning trying to fix all that. And so here we are, 5 p.m. headed to the hotel. Um, I'm not even in the mood to go out. I'm in the mood to eat because I haven't eaten all day. I had liquids, still having liquids. And then all that running around yesterday, y'all know I'm good for a good complain, complaining session. <laughs> um, all that running and ripping that we did yesterday, it didn't occur to me like, oh, I'm just thinking, what are you gonna wear, bitch? Oh, I'll just put on, I'll just, I got something in there. I'm thinking I'll throw something together. And this isn't the first time I go through that. And then I get home and I'm like, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Like, and for the most part, like, I think I have things in there and I do, <laughs> your girl has clothes. I, I definitely have clothes, but I've gained weight. So what I remember them feeling like, looking like and all that jazz, not the same. Not the same. You gotta go over. Yeah. Not the same. So. Oh no 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 no. Well what? No, don't get up on art. No. Oh okay. I thought for some reason that this was accidentally no. all of a sudden. So um. And then it's not till I'm packing. You know we don't go there. We don't go anywhere. I mean we do, but we don't go out often, and let alone overnight. So unless we're like flying somewhere. But it's not until I'm packing that I realize how much shit I have in terms of like product, what I use to get ready, my hair, my, like all oh my conditioner, all like, like everything that I need to get ready. And then I don't know what I'm wearing. So I get like three different options that I can mix and match and see what I can do with it, throw it all in there. And it's already, it's like the smallest suitcase that comes in the bundle. Pack to the motherfucking brand, bitch. Like, for what? Half of that shit I'm not even going to touch. Like, I'm just... And whenever we get ready to go somewhere, it's the same shit. Like, it's always... I don't understand what takes so long. Well, I was delayed, obviously, but I just feel like it's always, always something. But that's just adulting period. So... I still want to have a good time. I'm trying not to like be a Debbie Downer and we haven't even spoke much. It's the anniversary. The anniversary. This morning. Happy anniversary. Our anniversary is tomorrow. <laughs> but um happy anniversary. <laughs> okay, she can't do she can't drive and do anything else but drive at the same time. <laughs> so anyway, um I'm starving. I'm I'm starving. 
And I'm worried about leaving. I know this sounds fucking crazy because they're cats, but they're my babies and I hate leaving them, even if just for a day. Like They I, are little assholes when we come back whenever we leave. Yeah, they are. They hate it when we leave. They absolutely hate it. What is this? What is this? Oh, I'm like, what is this? It's what's hanging from my wood chill. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're obviously downtown Sac is not far from us. We're, um, almost there so anyway i'm looking forward to dinner like literally we have dinner reservations at 8 p.m at uh, paragary's and i am looking forward to stuffing did you grab the cards i am looking forward to stuffing my face something fierce because i am starving and i've gone so long that i refuse to eat anything now at this point because it, it'll just spoil the very large dinner that I'm going to have. And then after that, I'm hoping I'm not going to be so bloated. And then, do you mind if I tell them? Because I wake up this morning to this one breaking the news to me. That she started a period. 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 On her anniversary. I don't know, we'll see what kind of mood we're in because I definitely wanted to go eat. I wanted to go to our favorite gay club that we haven't been in, I don't know how long. But I just don't know what mood, let alone when I get to the clothes and I'm like, bitch, what did you pack? <laughs> what did you pack? We'll see. And I damn near left my heels upstairs last minute before we took off. I remembered and had to go back and get my heels because I'm like, well, what are you gonna wear in your feet besides tennis shoes? So, just a mess. Oh, look at my old Philby. <laughs> just a mess. Just, just, we're not gonna. Look, I used to work here. I used to work in that building, that the oh. building that looks like a dome. It's a circle dome right there. Yeah, like I'm pointing as if you can see me point. <gasps> that, I used to work there many, many, many moons ago. Anyway, I already showered. I already did all that, washed my hair. This homeless situation is just so fucked up here. FYI, if y'all come to Sacramento, the homeless, the homeless crisis, anywhere, I don't want to say anywhere in California, but Sacramento for sure, LA for sure, like, don't leave like it's in. very sad. Um, but anyway, I don't even know if we're going to end up going out tonight. We may just chill at the hotel and go up to the rooftop lounge and chill up there instead of going out. Like, it just depends on what mood we're in because it ain't been, it ain't been good so far. It ain't been good so far. So we'll see. If I get a few drinky drinks in me, you know, during dinner, I might change my whole damn mind. So first thing I'm gonna do when we get to the hotel is start, you know, doing, just getting ready now because I'm trying, our, re our reservations are at eight and I'm trying to get down to the lobby. Just stop, stop, stop. Okay. They turn quick down here. Um, yeah. So. Running red lights left and right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just fuck around with this hair. Do a little razzle dazzle on the face. Try some of those new products that I showed you yesterday. Yeah, so we are just about there. Yeah, like 23 miles. See you guys. Bye. Say bye, boogie. Bye, bye BB. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Chemistry was crazy from the kickoff. Neither one of us knew why. We didn't build nothing overnight, cause a love like this takes some time. People swore it off as the faith. Said we can't see that. Now from top to bottom, they see that we did that. Yeah. It's so true that yeah. we've been through it. Yeah. We got real shit. Yeah. See, baby, we've been too strong for too long. And I can't without you baby and i'll be waiting up until you get home cause i can't sleep without you baby oh. anybody who's ever loved you know just what i feel too hard to fake it nothing can replace it call the radio if you just can't be without you baby yeah i got a question for you see i already know
do something behind my back and then try to cover it up. Well, neither would I. To dinner we go. Hungry as hell. Y'all, this place is beautiful. It is packed because it's a Saturday night, but this place is beautiful. I gave you a little glimpse, but I don't want people to think I'm recording them. You know how people are. Uh -huh. It's about to go down for me. I am starving. This bill is going to be $300 fucking with me. I kind of want the spaghetti. You Spaghetti and clam? Yeah. No. Okay. The next day, it was very. Or shishito peppers, spicy. It's just I'm thinking. Okay. Okay, hold on. So Rihanna's um, lip pencil, bomb, bomb. As you can see, the penitent, bomb. Everything else, bust. Go ahead. You're thinking Red what? Red sauce and liquor. Red sauce and liquor. You want heartburn, babe? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> but I want the spaghetti so bad. Really? My glasses on. Why? You don't like your four eyes? They, this, these glasses, don't they like glare or the guy in the camera? No. No. This light right here is the only thing saving my life. Is this, it? This light right here. It's supposed to be intimate. That's why. Yeah. It's very intimate lighting. <laughs> This is what I ended up wearing, tits all out. Our reservations were at eight. We pulled up at like 8.02. And she was like, you wanna go over here and smoke? I'm like, no, we gotta check in. <laughs> they only allow you a five minute grace period. I assume so. I haven't smoked all day. When I tell y'all I wanna smoke so damn bad, so damn bad. And of course we were running late so we didn't get to take pictures in the lobby, of course. Thank you. Oh, they even put a little. First of all, this glass is everything. If I want a little time with the baby, mm. would you like to go? I am decided, but the lady may be. We're getting a starter. We have no idea. Okay, well, we would like to start up. Um, you didn't even look at I that. didn't. Can I have like two minutes? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Is okay. that what this is? That, oh, that's what I was trying to ask. These are the glasses that I want for my, when I get my set at the new place. These are the glasses. They doesn't have to be this exact pattern. Oh, this is good. You see? This thing is not focused. This is good. There. Hold on. This right here, delicious. Delicious. But the glass, yeah. I want this glass. Let me taste. It is. Finally. Can you see the black eyes? I love that. You gotta, you gotta come to us. 
this the four star? Yeah. You act like a little four star restaurant because you're not going to make a pick of Jim Trump. That is not lavender. That looks good. I mean, it's really fresh. Yeah. It's all in the detail. So I'm going to, for our starter, I'm going to get rosemary piccata. Love you, baby. I love it too. Happy anniversary. You will not believe what I'm about to tell you. I left my wedding ring at home. I only, she took hers off. I only wear one ring on my hand and of course my wedding ring and I left it at home on our anniversary. It's always some fuck shit and she took hers off just so I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't feel bad. Anyway, we're waiting for her to come back so we can order. I'm having a good hair day, can you tell? Yes, you do. <laughs> No, something wanted to act right and i'm having to get eyebrow day i did my eyebrows so fast earlier because i was running behind on that too but they turned out okay oh give me some food in my belly so i think i'm gonna get i know i'm gonna get caesar salad we're getting the rosemary um how do you say that piccata to bread with olive oil super bougie but i love it it is so beautiful out here you guys look again look again i keep looking over here talking to you so pretty we're gonna stuff our faces and then we'll check back in yeah yeah Bye. Y'all, we outside. <laughs> we are outside, outside. We are literally have, sitting at, on the side of the street like some fun, you know, I smoking at home and just... Every night, just anxiety. Like, there's no way I can go out. There's no way I can go out. And then we finally come out and I realize how entertaining this shit is. We literally have been sitting in a window. <laughs> like, wait, 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 wait. A window. <laughs> for like a whole hour right look we've had our drinks we've eaten our dinner no look and then a whole fucking bus pulls up block off the whole fucking street and a whole a whole wedding, wedding party <laughs> a whole wedding party and the came out and priest, they were drunk as fuck the priest comes to us and tells us that he loves us he loves us and that he misses us already Girl. and he had the warmest softest hands yeah he just, was they felt like butter butter like Warm just butter, butter. <laughs> the freeze let me tell you the freeze come out at night and we are literally on seventh and k just sitting here chilling i used to work that away back in the dizzy and we just sit oh i got my first tattoo this building i got my first tattoo it was called skull stole something but this is where i got that monstrosity on my back um, right here in this building in this motherfucking well, building it's empty now that's why it's got a leaf sign on it y'all we over <laughs> here smoking and just spectating the, scene. the fucking scene and it is the most 
any reality show like it is the most entertaining shit ever yeah. so we're just sitting here chilling smoking and we just i'm pretty speak. sure that car that is here and whatever that was that popped out of it was a hoe yeah she was home but it was it was a he he came to collect his money he was home yeah 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 <laughs> she came to and then let it back out the car yeah yeah, yeah. like it is a whole interaction out they here. them it's they been, them they them it has been so long since I've been on the streets. It has been so long just to see the dynamic and things of like how things have changed. It's fucking crazy. Anyway, we're gonna keep smoking and then we're gonna walk up pastry and see what's, what's really good because there's a whole bunch of music and shit. But these zinni at least we need to buy a bottle of water. <laughs> they some else. Like, over here in the Sahara. No, we need <laughs> the Sahara in Sacramento. <laughs> no. The weather is amazing right now. It's absolutely Actually, it wonderful. Really it's like good. 76 yeah. or maybe 75 degrees. It's everything. But yeah. the mouth, the cotton mouth that we are enduring because Actually, my, because, my of, lips are because of this right here. What? My mouth is actually wet. I've actually been drinking oh, no. fluids all day today because I have felt so dehydrated. Like my shit is dry. I need water, babe. We gonna get some water. And then we're hot. I didn't think I was enjoying it. Remember? <laughs> this is a funny <laughs> ass night. Clink, 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 clink. We just outside, outside on K Street, just walking around by the bar. Real young shit. Real young shit. Feels so good. We're going to knock the fuck out. The fuck out. The fuck out. Like, you know, come on. But I'm having fun so far. Yeah, I remember this. This is very reminiscent of the youth. They wouldn't be wanting to get these good or go. Um, we going to get all on this shit. Yeah, now let me see. Excuse me, y'all. Sorry to interrupt. Is it bar free? Yeah, no cover. We didn't when we came in. Yeah. We suck your ID. Okay, cool. Y'all need to come in because they're playing. I know, we're like, let's take a shot before we I like what y'all doing. This is fun. <laughs> that look hella fun. We, we out for my third year. Oh, uh, I just had my fourth year. Yes. Uh, really 25. Right, really 35. Yeah. Okay. Y'all should come in. <laughs> Uh, let me tell the clock. Okay. We got them hot dogs. We got them late night hot dogs. She's trying to get on this scooter. I'm trying to eat. I'm in the car. This shit is bacon wrapped and everything. Like, oh God. But I'm here for it. It's live on K Street. Who knew? I'm so old. Is it good? You like it? Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's a wrap now. We walk in the street smoking a blunt. Spinning the block till we get back to our room or to our hotel. I'm wondering why this rock is There's a coochie. Like this. There's a coochie in the middle of the street. Just straight, or just put on the sidewalk. For no reason. King Kenzie. Key, key. King Kinsey. We gonna make it back to the hotel <laughs> alive and well. <laughs> it's been a fun night, hearts. guys. But I definitely feel my age. Myself, what are you doing, you freak? <laughs> 
you <laughs> so silly, baby. It's our anniversary. We are Anniversary. It's our anniversary. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Fucking drunk. We are. <laughs> <laughs> you are so funny. Wait, go fast. Go real fast. Why aren't you going fast? I want to see you go fast. No, I'm okay. You got it. There you go. Press the thing. Takes a minute to like. There you go. Okay, I see. You got it? Yeah. When they there'll be no remnants, no trace, no residuals, no feelings within ya. When they you won't remember me. Your face would be the reason I smile, but I would not see what I cannot have forever. I'll always love ya. I hope you feel the same. Oh, you play me dirty, your game was so bad You toyed with my affliction, had to fill out my prescription Found the remedy, I had to set you free Away from me, to see clearly The way that love can be when you I'm not with me. I had to live. I had to live. I had to lead. I had to live. It looks so good. Let me see. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah. I love it. It's my turn. Tell you what I did last night. I came home, say, around a quarter to three. Still so high. Hypnotized in a trance from this body. So buttery brown. Tantalizing, you would have thought I needed help from this feeling that I felt so shook. I had to catch my breath. I gotta tell my neck. I gotta I, I got tell my neck. Hold on, hold on. I got you. Yeah. Okay. I love you. I love you more. Happy anniversary. Mwah. Mwah. He's so corny. <laughs> I'm so happy we did this. I don't know when I'm gonna see y'all again, so. Thanks for kicking with us on our anniversary, our weekend. Spend the weekend with us. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys on the next video.
What is Hi. it? Is that it? Neck on fire. Is that Neck it? on fire. Yes, that is it. Sacramento. <laughs> Sacramento, where you at? <sighs> yeah. Throw it up, y'all. Throw it up. Throw it up. I can't see ya. California. Oh. Oh. Let's show these fools how we do it on this west side. Because you and I know it's the best side.